how do you give a webinar presentation that gets conversions? Surprise, it has nothing to do with your deck. All right, so one of the questions I get quite a bit is how do I build a webinar deck that gets conversions? Or how do I give a better presentation that gets conversions is a better question. Your deck doesn't have nearly as much to do with conversion as the way you present. The biggest strength of being on a webinar is being live. You're in front of people, you are talking to people, you're building rapport with people, which is the most important thing that you can do that separates a webinar from just just having a sales page. People get to hear you talk, they get to hear your passion, and they get to see how well you know the material that you're teaching. That is why webinars are so incredibly powerful. You have to make sure that you do a great job presenting. I've seen so many people just download a deck template and download some kind of framework and dump their content into it and then deliver a mediocre webinar. That's why people bounce off of them. That's why people fall asleep. That's why your conversions are not as good as you would like them to be. So in this video and in the article, I'm going to go through five things that make for an absolute killer webinar presentation that will raise your conversions, usually double to three times what they are right now. So number one is don't rely on your deck. Your deck should be there as an aid. It should be highly visual. Every slide should have at least one picture on it. It should also have 10 words or less. Now you can, a few slides in your deck can have more words than that, but only a few. 90% of your slides, 10 words or less, and a picture. You are the star of the webinar. People are paying attention to you. Tip number two, don't turn the camera off. Your camera should be on. You should be talking with your hands. You should be highly animated. They should see you. This builds rapport with your audience and gets them to know, like, and trust you, which is one of the biggest factors in whether or not your webinar converts. Number three, ramp your energy way up. So do some jumping jacks, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups. Get yourself pumped up before you start the webinar. Here's the thing. You might have heard that the camera adds 10 to 15 pounds to people. Well, it also lowers your intensity. It lowers your energy. People mirror your energy. So when you're an authority and you're in front of people and you're talking to people, people mirror what you do automatically. It's a subconscious response. When you show up on a scale of one to 10 and your energy is a five, it's gonna come across on the camera at a three because it takes it down two notches. So what do you think is gonna happen when they're mirroring you? That's right, they're gonna fall asleep. They're gonna look at Facebook. They're gonna be on their phone. They're eventually going to tune out and drop off of the webinar. So you have to ramp your energy way up. Get yourself excited. Zig Ziglar said that a sale is nothing more than the transference of certainty, energy, and excitement about what you are selling to the people that are buying from you. If you're not excited about what you're selling, they're not going to buy. So that is one of the biggest things right there that you can do. Number four, this is a language pattern. You need to be able to reframe people's objections. I'm going to give you one of the biggest language patterns that you can use right here. And it's just a simple reframe. I understand that you probably think it's about X. The real issue though is Y. So the way that you would use this, I know that you're really concerned about time and whether or not you can make it through this course. But the real point is, will this get you the outcome that you want? If this would get you to lose 10 pounds in the next 30 days, would you be willing to commit 30 minutes a day to it? That's the real issue. Another reframe that you can use is to validate whatever their objection is hey, I totally agree that it is a lot of money. But the real issue is, will you actually get a return on investment? If you give me $1,000 and I give you $10,000 back and it's guaranteed, that's what's important, right? So I hope you see how easily you can reframe. Good webinars have at least 20 reframes in them. They're so subtle and they're baked into the presentation and it overcomes objections. If you haven't figured out what objections people have, go through your webinar and just write out out where you think objections are going to come up and put in these reframes. The last piece that I'll give you is trial closes. So 
trial closes are where you get people to say yes. A good webinar has at least 100 of these. The great webinars have 150, and the highest converting webinar of all time that I've seen out of the more than 150 that I've broke down has more than 170 trial closes. So what is a trial close? Trial close is where you get them to agree with you in some way and future pace them. Does that make sense to you? Do you see how powerful using these five techniques could be? You guys picking up what I'm putting down? Do you guys understand how this helped me build my business? Do you guys see how this could help you build your business? Do you guys understand how important having energy is? Do you guys get how powerful reframes are? I just gave you a whole bunch of them. So you want to be using trial closes all the time like that. It gets a subconscious yes from the person and it works best when they're used in groups of three. So that covers everything on how to give a great presentation that starts to build conversion. You can see why a lot of people that just download a template and dump some information into it have a hard time getting high conversions. Webinars are like anything else in life. You have to practice and you have to get good at the presentation of them. But when you do, there is nothing more powerful than having an amazing webinar to grow your business. If you need help with this, down below, there are some resources. The first one is my free ebook. It's five pillars of webinars that convert. It also has five short video lessons in it to help you with that, to help you get more conversions. The second thing, if you have a webinar that's running, but it's not getting the conversions that you want, I'll take a look at it for you. This is the webinar fix. What we're going to do there is I will shoot a video, I will pause it, and I'll give you feedback on your webinar. I'll also look at your front end funnel, the landing page that you have, and your follow-up sequence. This will help raise your conversion. The average customer that I've worked with has seen a 2x, a double in their conversion just through this simple process. The last thing, if you're looking to build a webinar from scratch and you know you need help with it, there's a link down below. Click schedule a free 30-minute consultation with me where we'll see how we can work together. When I help people build their webinars, we build everything from scratch. First, we build the presentation. Then we build the deck. Then we build the landing page and the front end funnel. And lastly, we build a killer follow-up sequence so that you can do things right and your webinar will absolutely crush sales right out of the gate. Until next time, guys, take action, change lives, and make money. I'll see you soon.